Alright guys, welcome back to another video tutorial from TechRoos. This is Puxy and you know what, you know what, I have been away for two days, again. And you guys have the full right, like seriously, go down in the comments and write whatever mean thing you want. Because I totally deserve it, because I have been a jackass not uploading for two freaking days. Like where have I been? That is not professional Puxy, that is not professional at all. But if you really want to know where I have been to for two freaking days, I was actually working on the website and it is uh, currently broken looks ugly and will keep on looking ugly because I am not an expert on CSS and HTML JavaScript however it's pretty cool so uh, I actually ended up downloading a freaking template and I was editing that so uh, our website is actually online right now you can check that out at techroos.com and uh, it looks really ugly please don't <laughs> please don't give me shit on that so and the about section is not complete the contact section doesn't work like i haven't wrote the php script yet and uh, life been busy guys so let's just get on with the tutorial and i apologize and you know what you guys can write whatever mean thing you want but uh, i'll be uploading as much as possible and trust me the schedule is just over the top so without further ado let's get on with our tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to show you some post exploitation stuff with metasploit so the first thing you guys want to do is open up your sweet little vmware with windows 7 on it and as you guys can see i have malware bytes <coughs> up and running on this so malware bytes is actually a malware scanner and <laughs> that's in sarcastic quotes malware scanner and uh, i should really start recording through my webcam and i'm just gonna do one thing and drag my web browser window over here and go to malware bytes and hit enter so you guys should download this because we actually want uh, malware bytes to you know work <laughs> so that we can actually test our exploits and uh, you guys need to embed your payload so that you guys can see that what payload will get detected and what will not. This is a very tedious task but trust me working in a controlled environment will give you a lot of edge when you're actually out in the field because you guys just know because this version of Malwarebytes, this number of patches don't work on this embeddation uh, if that's even a word or if on this embedded payload I think that's uh, quite right so go to Malwarebytes.com obviously and uh, wait for it to load. I really hate it when my friends hog onto my friggin' Wi-Fi. And I am again getting a text. Why do people text me? Like seriously, why do people text me? I'm a horrible person. And here we go, we have malware bytes and oh cool new wallpaper. I like this. Oh uh, look at them trying to be cute. And <laughs> seriously, that is not how it works. You guys can pass through malware bytes any day of the week. Actually, actually not you guys you're not that professional yet but yeah you guys can so go to the download section I suppose it is over here for more and uh, yep for home we're gonna download malware by 3.0 and my screen flickered oh yeah this is the free trial you guys can just hit download and install it and I really hope you guys know how to download or install some shit because if you guys don't I don't think penetration testing is the right choice for you guys so actually guys the street are the streets are quite busy and there may be some motorcycle sound so i apologize for that and i am not again an expert on um, what do you say uh okay what the hell do i use for editing <laughs> okay what's the name uh premiere pro so i'm not an expert on premiere pro and uh, i don't know how to reduce the sound or anything like that so let's just open up our vmware i have already booted and logged into mine let's just hit refresh now the next thing you guys want to do is get a reverse shell on this shit so to get a reverse shell we already have i think a reverse shell because we did uh, drop a payload in this we did get persistent access and remind me if i'm wrong but i suppose we did all that stuff so let me just get the system privileges clear this crap out and type in msf console and you guys remember you have to start a service before that and you by now should know how to do that so let's just wait for it to boot up and we will get our what do you say um reverse shell so let's just wait for it to boot up and uh, you know, suffer in awkward silence. That's one of the things I do on my dates. And there you go, 16, 12, nice. Okay, now the first thing you guys want to do is go to MSF, oh no, not MSF, use multi slash handler. Here is, we will get our, our reverse shell and you type in exploit. Because we have persistent access, we should get the friggin', what do you say? Okay, seriously, what do you say? A uh, reverse shell. Oh, wh why have I? Why am I? Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to say reverse shell anymore. I'm just forgetting words. <laughs> so let's just wait for it to get our reverse. And 
and we finally have our reverse shell so that took longer than i expected so let me just clear oh freaking i hate this you know <laughs> i freaking hate this so we have a metapreter shell but i am pretty sure that we are not what do you say system administrator so we need to get that so the one of the most common things that you guys can do on an exploited machine is uh, key scan and start hit enter now this is a uh, uh, okay, what is this? Keylogger. Oh my god, I am so in loss of words right now. So let's just open up our VMware and I'm just gonna refresh it out of the habit. And notepad. Come on, boy. And let's just type in. Okay, real time production is off. Let's just turn it on. And uh, <laughs> this is my uh, secret password which I'm pretty sure I spelled wrong yeah so no hacker can hack test lol and I intentionally named this test because that's how <laughs> you know arrogant kids stock these days which is very weird so let's just minimize this and you guys can do key scan dump and this is what you guys will get so we typed in notepad we typed in the cc blah and this is my secret password and there are some words separated because i misspelled them and this is actually pretty cool guys because uh what what happens is that uh, sometimes you're not able to get administrative access and this is actually pretty cool you just type in in key scan start and just wait for every just Keep the metapreter on, go get a coffee and come back and probably you guys will have the password because, uh, you know, usually people are always logging in, logging out, typing some stuff on the, you know, uh, making scripts and uh, you guys should be able to extract some valuable information from this. And uh, if you guys have been like in any amount of penetration testing, like if you guys have been any involved, you guys know what a keylogger can do. So to stop that, just type in you scan and stop and this should stop it and I can type clear okay uh, the next is uh, uh, what can we do what can we do what can we do what can we do yeah we can create a new user you know so type in run get GUI dash you um, new user I am very creative password don't type in password because anybody would be able to guess it so get GUI dash u is the para dash u and dash p are the parameters this will and maybe <laughs> if i haven't typed something wrong will make a new user so let's just wait for it finish this version of meter pressure is not supported with this script uh oh okay you know what i'm gonna troubleshoot this later i actually have to go somewhere and uh, let's just skip that but i will show you how to uh, make a um, new user and uh, don't worry about that okay so that we can rdp remote desktop protocol we can use that to access our uh, what do you say exploited machine whenever we want and get a nice little gui version so the next thing you guys want to do uh, which is very very crucial by the way is hash dump and hit enter type in hash dump hit enter this is what you guys will get so this is the guest operating system hash dump this is the password hash in the next video tutorial you guys might have guessed i am going to show you how to crack these hashes what are ntlm hashes what are ntlm2 hashes and uh, quite frankly <laughs> uh, they're a joke because if you guys uh, hear defcon lectures or defcon presentation pretty well whatever you guys like to call it uh, ntlm hashes have always been a joke uh, i'll tell you something right now what uh, ntlm hashes used to do was uh, uh, they used to take in your password all right you guys can put in a 12 character password alphanumeric uh, what do you guys whatever you guys want to do and what it did was it only took eight characters in uh, accountants so uh, it will just remove le the rest of the letters and uh, what it did was it would break down both of them into four and four individual pieces. Now, uh, two individual pieces of four and four sets. So your password is already broken from 12 to 8 and now to 2. And what the next thing it will do was it will, uh, what do you say? If there were any capital letters, it will just uh, turn them into small letters. I don't know what the word is word for that is. And you know what? Just leave them in the comments down below so I so you guys don't have to deal with this stupid phrase that I don't know how to pronounce it or I don't know how to say it or I don't know the word for it. So that's that, and uh, it was pretty easy to brute force because all you have to do, like WPS, all you guys had to do was just uh, break the first half of the password, and the next half will be granted to you. Like here you go, son, you did a good job. 
and that was actually pretty freaky. Uh, Microsoft did fix that, but uh, let's just talk about it uh, later <laughs> uh, when we actually get that. Uh, when we actually get into password hash cracking, whatever. So, if the, I might have guessed that you guys wouldn't have got this hash quite easily. So let me show you what you guys need to do. So type in PS, this will print out all the processes. And you guys, what you guys need to do is migrate your process to one of these processes. So I'm just going to type in migrate and um, uh, what should we do? 850, it seems nice. Oh God damn it, I, I hate it. 850, you know, I am so freaking lazy. I won't fix my numpad at all. And we have uh, 850, 852, right? So just change it to any process that you think is uh, actually being used by the system. So you migrate this process and 876 to 852. The reason why I got the hash at first time because I did migrate it already because you know, I have to prep for the video. So you have been migrated and just type in hash dump and hit enter. You guys should get the hash dump. And if you guys are not getting that, just uh, inform me and I will find you a solution. Don't worry about it. Don't freak out. Don't think, oh no, this is not the field for me. And I just heard a bong, a Windows error. I have no idea why. And uh, so these are all the things. Okay, what else do I want to show you guys? Um, <laughs> okay, there was something. Yeah, uh, I remember. Oh yeah, <laughs> one of the coolest things. Screenshot. Yep. Let's go to this directory. You know what? I'm just gonna go to the directory by myself. And uh oh, there you go. Ah, see, this was the error I was getting. So this is the screenshot. This is not the highest quality screenshot that I've ever seen. You guys can get better screenshot with Armitage and Armitage actually offers you a GUI version to interact with. So yeah, you guys can actually get a very, you know, basic graphical user interface version for interaction. You guys don't have to go, if, you know, use CD or terminal commands to just hop around directories so that's pretty cool uh one of the things you guys can do is execute programs so execute dash f calc dot exe hit enter and if you open up your vmware's you guys should get okay please don't embarrass me okay i didn't get the calculator why not why not come on i did do it right didn't i 2146 process is created yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna try this again and see if this works. Come on. Nope, I didn't get that. But you should get that because I have been messing around with my VMware a lot. So if you guys don't get that, just leave them in the comments down below. I will try to solve my problem and yours. And you can also get a lot of stuff. So get UID, you guys will get the username. And uh, sys info this will get you a uh, system information the architecture whatever and uh, obviously if config this should get you the mm, what do you say ip address of the particular machine and uh, this ip address actually guys uh, what most people do is that they forget the ip address and you guys actually need the ip address because when you're rdping into the particular host that is if you're using remote desktop protocol to get into the graphical user interface version for that particular machine, you guys need the IP address and sometimes I usually forget it. So I'm just reminding you guys, giving a heads up and uh, <coughs> that's it for today's video guys. I know it's a short video. I know it's not that great of a video, but trust me, these are actually one of the nicest things that you guys can do in post exploitation. You guys can, uh, we already have a permanent backdoor, don't we? And uh, you guys need to update your backdoor also because uh, I'm going to show you how to do that as well after we crack our hashes and we're going to use a lot of, uh, Oh, okay. But my uh, favorite hash cracking is uh, John the Ripper. It is actually amazing. You guys can also pay for rainbow tables. I will tell you about what are rainbow tables. And you know what? This is a little homework. Google what are rainbow tables and how they work with NTLM hashes. And uh, search a little bit about NTLM hashes as well because it will help you out in the long run. So I hope you like this video. If you like this, hit that like button. And by the way, we will be shooting uh, another video of weekly tech news if you guys remember that and oh shoot uh you know what uh yeah we will be shooting that um, new what do you say weekly tech news and uh, we're what you know what next week what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, make a live hacking thing so i'm just probably gonna fish one of my friends and see 
how ignorant people can be i'm going to show you how people ignorant can be and this is going to be actually a lot of fun because we're going to do it live actually uh, okay probably live if you guys if i get the audience or probably uh, you know a single uh, continuous take because and it will be a lot choppier and <laughs> uh, my english would be way worse but uh, you guys would have to bear with it and i'm going to show you how i'm going to show you how to fish your friends and you guys shouldn't do that i do not condone it this is just for educational purposes and i can say sorry to my friends and they will forgive me i don't know about yours so uh, don't do that and uh, a truck is passing me by so i'm just going to end this video right over here so thank you guys for watching if you like this video hit that like button if you dislike this video you know what to do if you have more complicated emotions about this video let me it in the comments down below and discuss it if you want to see more of us hit that subscribe button I officially have lost my right to say we upload every day but please guys subscribe because we try to upload every day and um, we have our twitter links and uh, okay I don't I didn't have okay I haven't made a facebook page yet but I quite frankly don't want to I don't like facebook and we have our twitter feed page whatever you like to call it in the video description down below so follow us if you guys want to see uh, more of us even more of us than this youtube channel and I want to know when the video will be dropping so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video tutorial poxy signing out <laughs> i could have said that by the way poxy signing out see ya